Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to do a tutorial now on uh, going into your GoDaddy account and installing WordPress. Get you your basic platform set up. Uh, first thing we got to do is get into GoDaddy. Uh, we're going to do this in an unlimited Linux with cPanel account for hosting. Once you get into GoDaddy, you'll need to log in. If you're not logged in already, once you're logged in, you click on My Account and visit My Account. That'll take you to the My Account page. And in there you're going to see web hosting and the list of products. And here's my Linux hosting with cPanel. You're going to click on Manage. Once you click Manage, that's going to take you into the cPanel for their hosting account. And that's where you're going to have to put it. Now I'm going ahead with the assumption that you've already associated the domain name with that hosting account. If you haven't and you've already got a hosting, you can associate with an add-on domain. But that's another thing entirely. So going with the idea that you're just going with a, a hosting account with a domain name already attached. Uh, once you get into cPanel, you're going to notice all the links at the top in the green bar. And you'll want to click on Applications. Okay, and when you get into the Installatron, you're going to want to go down here, Content Management. You'll see WordPress. Click on WordPress. And there you'll see the Hello World, your overview. You want to click Install This Application. And this will install WordPress into your hosting account. And we're going to tell it where to put it. And, and all of those good options here. We'll take just a minute while the Installatron catches up. And here we go. Now the domain name, if you're just putting it in as the main website, you would usually just use the domain name and use no directory whatsoever. You can see how that's going to play out right here. It gives you your URL and as well as your actual directory. Uh, but I'm going to put this into a WordPress directory. So it'll be aaroncamps.com forward slash WordPress. I'm obviously not going to uh, install this over the top of my existing website. So there we go. This is going to go in there. Version 4.2.2, newest version. Accept the license agreement. You know, set your language. Uh, I like the default settings are are perfect on this. There's really no need to mess with anything unless you have special needs. Um, but these should always be set up quite white for you. We're going to put in admin as the admin username and the admin password. I'm type that in. This is going to be your username and password that you'll have set up for uh, your entire WordPress site. So when you go into the back end to do things, this will be your admin username, admin password. Set where you want it. Your emails regarding the website. That means whenever you have updates or anything like that, you will get your notification emails at this administrator email address. Website title, my blog, just another WordPress site. You can change those either here before installation or you can change them when you're actually in the uh, admin panel for WordPress itself. Two-factor authentic authentication with Clef. It's actually pretty good uh, security uh, software for getting in there, but I'm not going to do that for this installation. We'll cover that in another uh, tutorial, a little short tutorial. Limit login attempts, it's good to uh, do that. Enable multi-site, no, not unless you're actually going to do multi-site. Again, that would be something else that we'll do another tutorial. Once you get all of these settings taken care of, which really it should just be your your personal settings up top here, you'll click the install button in the bottom right corner. And that'll start the process of installation. If you want to watch it, you can click on My Applications. It'll give you a list of the applications you have already installed. And let's see, where's my WordPress? Yeah, it's not, going, it's not showing it there. Now when you go to my applications, there we go, there's my blog. Now this will automatically set up your database, set up all the files for the clean install into your <coughs> 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 
Now you'll see once it's done installing you've got your URL and there's your admin URL so that you can log into the back end we're gonna do we'll go ahead and just click in there you can see that's just your general basic uh, never touched website here so we'll go to WP hyphen admin and there that gives us our login information we'll log in and this takes you into the dashboard of the WordPress admin panel and so we'll go over some other tutorials uh, down the road in relation to you know inserting posts medias setting up your appearance all of these wonderful things that uh, WordPress is so good at so thank you very much for tuning in uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you today and I uh, hope you learned something have a good one